Neti Nose Cleansing with Antje from gozofreediving.com. Would you like to breathe more freely? Support your immune system? Laugh about hay fever and allergies? And even equalize much more easily in freediving? Then keep on watching. Welcome to another breathing video. Actually, this is a preparation for breathing. We're going to talk about neti cleansing. Mm, what's that? Neti means nose cleansing. And especially today, I'm going to show you yala neti, which is the cleansing of your nose with water. Why, why are we doing this? What is it? Um, cleansing your nose with water has a lot of beautiful benefits. You empower yourself, you strengthen your immune system because you make sure that a lot of stuff that usually enters your lungs with your breathing doesn't go down there. So you wash it out before it gets the chance to affect your body. You're going to breathe more freely because your air passageways are cleaned, cleansed and are free so the air can flow. You may feel that you suffer less from allergies, especially now in springtime. Often we suffer from allergies, from pollen. And you wash them out so you feel easier about your breathing and it is really much easier to breathe. And uh, therefore you use your nose more easily instead of using your mouth for breathing. Remember, the nose is for breathing, the mouth is for eating. Um, so in order to be able to do that and in order to prepare for any breathing practice or pranayama, we want to make the way free first. How can we do this? Um, in classic ways, we have specific pots, we call them neti pots. You can buy them online or in the pharmacy. There are very different um, materials, plastic, metal, porcelain. Um, prices vary from, I don't know, 6 euros to 40 euros, depending how fancy you want to have it. And you have to go online to buy them, um, or you go into the pharmacy if your local pharmacy has got it. Here in Gozo, where I live, uh, the pharmacy, they don't know about these things. So I found a method where I don't need to go online, where I don't need to spend money. I just take a plastic bottle. So imagine you have a gin and tonic without gin and without tonic. So I just took a tonic bottle. You can take any other plastic bottle. It doesn't even need to be so big. You just want to take the lid and make a hole in it. And then you make another little hole on the side. Because in the morning when I do my neti cleansing, I don't wear my glasses and I make the flower just to see the hole because otherwise I'm too blind. Good, so you've got your plastic bottle and then you need something else. You need salt. And again, I cleanse my nose every morning. Um, I want to save time because um, making the salt melt in the in the water every morning that takes some time so i always prepare a concentrate of purified water and sea salt and i take about 100 150 milliliters of water and i put about four to five tablespoons of salt in it so you can imagine this becomes a very very intense salt and saturated salt solution and that is lasting then for two to three weeks for my neti solution because, of course, I won't put um, this concentrate to my nose. That would be a little bit too extreme. Um, and I dilute it down with lukewarm water. So what salt can you take? Um, any natural salt. As I said, I take sea salt um, from Schweni. That's where I live, here on the island of Gozo. And maybe you have some local salt where you live, a stone salt, Himalayan salt you can take as well. Just take any salt that is natural, so you want to avoid any chemicals in your body. Um, so you want to wash them out instead of keeping them in. So take a natural salt. And then prepare your solution or make a fresh solution with about half a tablespoon of salt for about 150 to 200 milliliters of water. That's the amount you will need. So what I do is I take a little bit, just a dash of the concentrate into my bottle. And I just realized we stopped the video here. In the meantime, I've put in some water, about 200 milliliters of lukewarm water, and I do the test. I just take some of the water on the back of my hand, 
So I can check the temperature. It's really hand warm, lukewarm. And I taste it to see if the solution is right. So you want to have a light, salty taste, a little bit like your teardrops, so more or less like um, the body fluid in your body. If it's not enough, it will irritate your nose. If it's too much, the same thing. So you want to have a, um, a solution that works well for you. And sometimes it takes a little while to find out, but just test and um, do try and error. So that's how I do it. And make sure it's not too hot and not too cold, really lukewarm, just like your body is. And then we start. Just take the bottle, um, the hole on the side wants to be on the top, and you just bend over your sink and then let the water run into one nostril and wait until it comes out through the other. Of course, with this demonstration, this works really well. Sometimes you might feel that it doesn't run as freely but just drops, if at all, or it takes a moment for the water to flow. And you want to wait as long as it takes for the water to really freely flow. And then you just blow out the excess water a little bit. Maybe blow your nose with a handkerchief, just gently. Really gently, you don't want to force anything out. It will come out within the next half an hour. Um, it might take for more water to come out anyway. And then you do the other side, um, because otherwise one nostril will be jealous and feels left out. So we do the other side and let the water run from the opposite nostril over. See, this takes no moment, I think, because I've blocked a little bit of the nostril. Maybe I try again. And See if it runs more freely now. See, it takes a moment now. And I think it's got to do with the fact that I have not put my bottle to the right direction. You see the hole was on the wrong side. So let's try again. And this way it will work. There we go. So you see the importance of the hole on the side. And <laughs> the water is running out a little bit along my skin. And then I just gently blow out the rest and dry my face and blow my nose gently. As I said, it might take a while for more water to come out within the next minutes, sometimes even 20 minutes, half an hour. Um, so I always have a handkerchief by my side uh, once I start my breathing practice because after I've done then my breathing exercises, my pranayama, there's even more stuff coming out and I can breathe even more freely. I recommend to do the Niti every day, every morning. Um, so there's nothing wrong with it to put it into your daily routine, together with uh, having your shower or brushing your teeth before you start your day. And um, remember, it's great for your immune system. You really help the function of your lung because anything that your body needs to fight doesn't get the chance to get deep down into your body. Um, so there's no need for your body to fight it because you wash it out and you breathe much freer and um, just uh, enjoy your breathing even more. Thanks a lot for watching and if you have any questions, please contact me on gozofreediving at gmail.com or have a look on my website gozofreediving.com. See you soon again.